I got a request on a Mugen tutorial that's a fairly easy fix. It's to, um, how to fix the Z2 character's portraits. Well, in my opinion, the Z2 character's portraits don't need fixing. It's just the Z2 character's portraits are used for their game that they're in, Hyper Dragon Ball Z. But, I know some of you, you've seen my Mugen, and I use these portraits here for the windscreen. And I use a different portrait, which I'll show you here. Let's see, we're gonna Fight. just uh, F1 this real quick. Oh god, they changed Goku's Fight. voice. I did not know that. I just downloaded a new Goku. Oh. Goku has a custom voice. Oh, right. That's cool. And I use that portrait usually for my character select screen. Now, I got a request on how do you do that? It's a very, very very easy thing. First off, what you want to do, you want to download Fighter Factory. This is what I got. I got Fighter Factory, I believe, 3.0. You want to download that. You want to open up the characters from the Z2. Basically, go find your character. See, like, I got Goku here. I'll do I'll do all three of them that I showed there. I'll do Goku Z2, how to do it. I'll do, uh, open up. Let's see, go to characters. We'll do Frieza. Do Frieza C2. And, oh wow, this is taking a while to load. Oh, oh okay, I was about to say, did it crash? Nope. And, last but not least, Cyborg 18 or Android 18 C2. Basically, you have the three characters opened up here now. I'm going to do it for all three characters. It's the same way to do it for any Z2 character. Basically, let's go to Goku because he's going to be the easiest one to change. You're going to highlight Goku. Go over to sprites. Boom. Now, this is the one you want to change. So basically, remember this number here. Group 9000, index 1. And to make it easier on us, because Goku actually has a couple custom uh, built-in portraits for him if you wanted to use it. But we're going to make it easy on us and switch it with this one. The one that says group 9000, 2. So basically, where it says index 2 for this one... You want to hit, you want to change that to a 1, go over to that, change that to a 2. And then you hit save, project, save. And yeah, you just hit yes there too. So, you got that? Because I'm about to do it again for Frieza. Frieza's easy also to do. Frieza, you want to fix that one, okay? Frieza has a couple also couple special ones. He's got the golden freezer, but we're going to change it to that one. So basically, this you change to two, and this you change to one. All right? And you hit project save, and hit yes there. Now, 18. 18 is a little difficult because her and Krillin, you have to do some digging. You could actually... Um, there's a way you just type in 9,000 or something to find it, but I usually just go through it like this because it's much more fun to see the character animate. Like, look at this. This is this is amazing. This is really cool. And uh, I believe 18 also has a special one that you can use, but um, it doesn't uh, fit very well unless it's in Hyper Dragon Ball Z. Anyway, da, da, da. sometimes they're at the very beginning or at the very end. I don't think 18s is at the very end though. I think it's somewhere in the middle. And slow down. Thank you for the slow down. Ooh. Like I said, this is just I do this for the other characters too. I just like to see the animations and it's just really fun. See some of the hidden stuff that they have. There it was. There that was. There it was. Go back, 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 back. There we go. So basically 18. You found it. See it's group 9000 index one. And index 2. So basically, you want to change this to index 2. And you want to change this to index 1. Hit project, save. Now then, hit yes. Now then, your characters should be all set. Let's load up Mugen again. And now they should have those portraits. See? They got those portraits now for that. And, uh, hold on. There we go. And with Goku here, just like with 18. Oh. And an F1 oh, again. Alright! Right. 
F1 again. And you can see he now has his portrait here, the one that we used for his original thing. So those of you that were wondering how to do that, like I said, download Fighter Factory, put the characters in there, go through their sprites. Look, usually look for group 9000, okay? Haha, uh, over 9000, get it? Anyway, it's it's very simple, very easy. I hope this helped you all that are trying to do like how I have my Z2 characters have their portraits like that. If not, then you could always change the portraits if you want to know how to do that. I also have a tutorial on how to change Mugen character portraits. It's in the playlist, or you could just look for it. My name is Klingeroth. I hope this tutorial helped you, and thank you so much, and I will try to get another Mugen tutorial sometime in the future.